I'll put it here for you. So just have some domain knowledge about the domain. So retail domain me kya hota hai? Let's say you started one company. Aapko fund mila, so you started your store. Let's say I name it at store one. First one. Pehla store shuru kya apne and you put some products there. So pehli baar let's say apne grocery chalu kya. Sugar, oil, uh, grains, and other things are based on your sale. Toothpaste, brush, a lot of things as a grocery. You are selling those. Abhi kya ho you will have a supplier. Okay. This is store. You will have one supplier which will give you the uh, products. Jaise ki uh, Colgate, uh, maybe let's take example Hindustan Unilever HUL so HUL which product banana toothpaste brush and a lot of other things so those are the manufacturer and then there will be a supplier so uh wholesale bega ye product purchase karega and then based on demand he will sell to the stores or anyone he can be a retailer retail seller matlab individual ko bechega ya company ko bechega it's a B2 to business to business, is doing business to business, C2C, B2C business to customer. That's the two terms. Now, what will happen is the supplier will add some commission. Let's say, if a brush manufacturer is in 7 rupees, mein pass ho hai, so he will sell on 10. 10 to supplier. Supplier will purchase 10 mein purchase karega. he will sell on 12 to the retailer. Uh, retail store usko 12 mein aa raha hai he will and this is my customer okay customer let's say ye 15 ko bech raha hai so customer and then saath ka manufacturing cost us 15 mein bech raha hai and there are some commission year 20% year more than around 20% commission year 30% commission or margin that he is taking up so now, all the products in your store, now you manage manually. So, are ha, ye box katam ho gaya, order karte. You call to the supplier, supplier ko lega, haan, kal tak de dunga, aar jayega. If it's a one store, less product, less sale, working good. No issue, no software needed, nothing. Then, while sale ke liye, ye jo banda hai, aap hai, aap ka sale itna nahi hai. After some years, sales badhta hai. Because a lot of demand, abhi aapke store ka publicity ho gaya. So, bohut sare log aake, ye hai, wo hai, puchne lage. Now, sometimes what happened, aapka toothbrush or test uh, khatam ho jata hai. And there are varieties, let's say, uh, sugar nahi hai, ya phir uh, pocket nahi hai. Lot of varieties of test you give it in your store. Abhi store mein kya hua? Ki you have different varieties or different demand ho gaya. So, means diverse ho gaya. So, पहले आपने जो स्टोर चालू किया था आपने 10 लाख का माल लिया था टोटल में और 10 लाख में अगर साल भर आपने ज्यादा पैसे डाले नहीं 10 लाख आया अगर 1 लाख बेचा गया वही 1 लाख से आप भी मतलब कोई पैसा घुमा रहे थे बट अभी डिमांड बढ़ गया तो नाउ यू पुट द इन्वेंटरी ऑफ 20 लाख ओके 20 लाख का सामान आपने खरीदा जब 10 लाख था आपका सेल दो लाख होता था मंथली सेल दो लाख होता था आपने 20 लाख किया तो ये 3 लाख हुआ आपको फिर और डिमांड आया आपने टोटल जो कॉस्ट है आपका प्रोडक्ट्स आपके स्टोर में 30 लाख का हुआ सेल खाली 4 लाख गया सो व्हाट इज हैपनिंग में 10 लाख लगा के 2 लाख सेल हो रहा है ओके एंड देयर विल बी सम प्रॉफिट सो लेट्स से आई हैव प्रॉफिट ऑफ 20k पर मंथ हियर आई हैव 25k here I have 30k. So what is happening? You are increasing your money in the store. But your money, the profit is coming. In this including everything. Meaning cost, your labor cost, your time and everything. Rent. You are going to get so much profit. So is it beneficial? I am going to get 30,000. I am going to get 30,000. I am going to get 30,000. If you term if you go experience, so something is wrong. Something is wrong. Right? So kya wrong hai? Abhi mujhe hai. So it will be maybe if I'm a good 
पर्सन अगर मैं मेरे शॉप को अच्छे से जानता हूँ तो आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड अरे मैं क्या होता है ना कि टूथपेस्ट बेचा जा रहा है बट मेरे साथ नोटबुक्स है अम्ब्रेला भी बेच रहा है बट ये तो सीजनल प्रोडक्ट है मैं लेके रख रहा हूँ बट सीजन में बेचा जाता है बाद में पड़ा रहता है उसकी वजह से मेरा इन्वेंटरी कॉस्ट बढ़ रहा है That, that is आपके स्टोर में कितना सामान है दैट इज कॉल्ड एज ए इन्वेंट्री ये समझ में आया सो फर्स्ट हम हम सीखेंगे इन्वेंट्री ओके नाउ फिर कस्टमर भी बढ़ते हैं ये लिख से आप ईयर कंसिडर करो ये है 2015 2016 एंड 2017 ईयर ऑन ईयर आपका सेल मतलब इन्वेंट्री आपका बढ़ रहा है आपका सेल भी बढ़ रहा है टोटल सेल भी बढ़ रहा है बट नेट प्रॉफिट भी बढ़ रहा है बट इन कंपैरिजन लेस है ओके नाउ आपको वो ऑप्टिमाइज करना टोटल कस्टमर आपके स्टोर में और टोटल सेल जो होता था टोटल कस्टमर पहले टू थाउजेंड लोग आते थे फिर दो हजार हुए फिर तीन हजार लोग आने लगे मंथली ओके सो आई ऑल्सो इंक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ कस्टमर जो इंडिविजुअल आते थे आई एम ऑन अ ग्रोथ पार्क बट क्या हो रहा है कि देर इज सम इशू मेरा कॉस्ट ज्यादा लग रहा है सेकेंड थिंग की मैं आइडेंटिफाई नहीं कर पा रहा हूँ कि सामान बेचू कैसे मैं नोटबुक में नहीं लिखता हूँ सो आई पॉट वन सिस्टम तो मैंने एक सिस्टम खरीदा एक सॉफ्टवेयर खरीदा और जब भी कोई आएगा बार कोड रहेगा आई स्कैन द बार कोड और आई गिव इट उसका बेनिफिट क्या हुआ दिस इज माई पीओ एस सेकेंड कंसेप्ट इज पीओ एस पॉइंट ऑफ सेल पॉइंट ऑफ सेल सिस्टम ओके पीओ एस जो काउंटर पे रहता है डी मार्ट या बिग बाजार या कहीं कुछ जाओगे आप उसपे स्कैन करके वहां पे आता है तो उसका बेनिफिट क्या हुआ उसमें उससे मुझे पता चला कि ये प्रोडक्ट अभी मेरे स्टॉक में कितने हैं राइट right? अगर लेट्स से आई हैव हंड्रेड अम्ब्रेला व्हेन आई परचेज आई एंटर इन द सिस्टम कि मैंने हंड्रेड अम्ब्रेला खरीदा जैसे अम्ब्रेला बेचा जाता है तो हंड्रेड में से वन माइनस होगा स्टॉक बताएगा नाइनटी नाइन में वन सेल हुआ राइट देन यू सेड ओके मुझे है ना प्राइस अभी मैं गाँव जाता हूँ और आई हैंड ओवर इट टू सम पर्सन टू रन द स्टोर बेनिफिट ये होगा सिस्टम होने से वो सिस्टम में प्राइस रहेगा मुझे उसको बोलने की जरूरत नहीं अरे कोई अम्ब्रेला मांगने आएगा ये बीस का है चालीस का है पचास का है तो बताने की जरूरत बार कोड स्कैन करेगा यू विल गेट सी कितने का है एंड सेल अगर मैं बोलता हूँ मुझे डिस्काउंट पे बेचना है तो आई कैन पुट डिस्काउंट और ओरिजिनल मैंने सपोज हंड्रेड में खरीदा था सप्लायर से मैं एक में बेच रहा हूँ मैं दस रुपए डिस्काउंट देना चाहता हूँ बिकॉज जल्दी खत्म हो जाए तो आई कैन नो कि हाँ मैंने डिस्काउंट इसको दस रुपए दिया बट स्टिल आई मीन प्रॉफिट बिकॉज दैट्स हाउ यू नो सो दैट पॉइंट ऑफ सेल सिस्टम इज हेल्पिंग टू रन द बिजनेस और स्केल हो रहा है मेरा बिजनेस मतलब बढ़ रहा है तो इट इज ऑल्सो स्केलिंग स्केलिंग बिजनेस के लिए दैट पॉइंट ऑफ सेल सिस्टम इज गुड अभी क्या हुआ आई वेन टू फास्ट फॉरवर्ड टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी मैं ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी में आया और 2020 में मैंने एक स्टोर यहाँ पे सपोज एक ही स्टोर था एस वन एस वन एस वन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी में मैंने टेन स्टोर बना एक ब्रांचेस फ्रांचाइजी किया अभी मेरे दस स्टोर हो गए आई एम आई एम अ सिंगल पर्सन और मैंने हायर किया स्टोर मैनेजर हायर किया तो क्या होगा आई वांट टू सी अरे कहीं वो माल गड़प ना कर रहा है कहीं ज्यादा डिस्काउंट है बेच नहीं रहा है क्या हो रहा है सो आई वॉन्ट टू हैव सम सिस्टम टू एनालिस पॉइंट ऑफ सेल सिस्टम है इट इज ऑपरेशनल सिस्टम वाई इट इज ऑपरेशनल सिस्टम इट इज हेल्पिंग टू रन द बिजनेस इट इज नॉट एनालिटिकल वो मुझे बता नहीं रहा है कि क्या गलत है सिस्टम में क्या सेल हो रहा है क्या सेल नहीं हो रहा है इट इज नॉट टेलिंग इट इज जस्ट ऑपरेशनल सिस्टम सो दैट सिस्टम इज कॉल्ड ओएलटी ओके ऑनलाइन ट्रांजेक्शनल प्रोसेस ये समझ में आया इट इज जस्ट ऑपरेशनल डे टू डे बिजनेस है वो रन कर रहा है दैट इज हेपनिंग ई आर पी आर एंड ऑफ ऑपरेशनल सिस्टम बट मुझे एनालिटिकल सिस्टम चाहिए एनालिटिकल मतलब क्या ये जो दस स्टोर है दिस ऑल टेन स्टोर वॉट इज द एग्रीगेटेड सेल्स डेली वॉट इज द 
टॉप टेन सेलिंग प्रोडक्ट टॉप टेन सेलिंग प्रोडक्ट कौन से देन टॉप टेन हाई मार्जिन प्रोडक्ट कौन से टॉप टेन लो मार्जिन प्रोडक्ट कौन से टॉप टेन कॉस्टली प्रोडक्ट कौन से राइट मुझे ये सब जानना है क्यों जानना है लेक से मैं आ, मेरे स्टोर्स में अभी ना फ्रिज भी बेचने लगा हूँ मेरे स्टोर्स में रेफ्रिजरेटर वॉशिंग मशीन फैन एंसरिंग एवरीथिंग ओके तो मुझे जानना है कि अगर मैं दैट्स कॉस्टली प्रोडक्ट लेक से फ्रिज ले लो बीस पच्चीस हजार का है अगर मैं स्टोर में एक साल में बिका नहीं गया तो दैट डेड मनी राइट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इज द डेड मनी so i want to get rid of that either i will return to supplier or i will put a discount so that i can sell it quickly so i want to reduce my inventory cost or total 10 store ka let's say 10 cpr abhi total inventory cost hai okay now i need the analytical system and that system need to pull the data from point of sale system ye point of sale system se data leke historical data lega and on that historical data we'll do some analysis ki kaun se top 10 hai total sale kya hai kaun sa sale kaun sa hai so that next system is called olap online analytical processing or analytical system okay so now we know the inventory kya hai point of sale system kya hai uh, olap kya hai online analytical processing system kya hai now kya ho raha hai कि इन्वेंट्री तो मैंने ले ली आई वॉन्ट टू ऑप्टिमाइज द इन्वेंट्री ओके वॉट इज मीन बाई ऑप्टिमाइजेशन ऑफ इन्वेंट्री ऑप्टिमाइजेशन ऑफ इन्वेंट्री इज दैट मेरे पास अगर दस करोड़ का सामान है चर्न शुड बी इन ईयर मैं दस करोड़ का सामान बेच पाऊ दैट शुड बी चर्न रेट ओके नहीं तो क्या होगा अगर दस करोड़ इन्वेंट्री और मैं साल का तीन करोड़ ही बेच पा रहा हूँ सात करोड़ तो का सामान तो वैसे ही पड़ा रहेगा so i need to know the churn rate main saman kitne jaldi kitna effectively use kar pa raha hu kaun sa product main store mein rakhna is beneficial so we do the inventory optimization so then i'll use some solution analytical solution for inventory optimization so first solution main banana chahta hu analytical solution is inventory what it will give me uh, then second type of solution i give you the relation is assortment abhi mere kitne stores bole humne 10 stores bole 10 stores okay abhi mera supplier ye jo ache yun se mujhe प्रोडक्ट देता है राइट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट जो लेट्स से दिस एचयूएल मैन्युफैक्चरर्स 100 प्रोडक्ट्स सो आई गेट दोस प्रोडक्ट तो कौन सा प्रोडक्ट कौन से स्टोर में रखना चाहिए कितने क्वांटिटी में रखना चाहिए देयर आर टू प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ कौन सा प्रोडक्ट कौन से स्टोर में रखना चाहिए दैट्स द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम सेकंड प्रॉब्लम इज कितने क्वांटिटी में रखना चाहिए दैट्स द सेकंड प्रॉब्लम ओके नाउ व्हाट इज इट मीन बाय लेट्स से I think I gave this example yesterday also. जैसे कि डीमार्ट है और मैंने स्टोर बनाया अभी मेरा सेगमेंट क्या है मैं टारगेट किसको कर रहा हूँ मिड इनकम या लो इनकम पीपल को ओके तो मैं सोच रहा हूँ मेरे स्टोर में मैं कपड़े भी रखू तो आई वॉन्ट टू सेल इन द क्लोथ ऑल्सो तो मैं ब्रांडेड क्लोथ भी रखना नहीं चाहता बिकॉज मार्च का मैं खरीदना लिखने वाले कोई नहीं है तो प्रीमियम सेगमेंट के दस परसेंट ही लोग है और हाई प्रीमियम मतलब मिडिल क्लास और लोअर मिडिल क्लास लोग बहुत हैं जो मेरे स्टोर से कपड़े खरीदेंगे बिकॉज इट्स अ लो कॉस्ट एंड कॉस्ट के कंपैरिजन में क्वालिटी भी अच्छा है करेक्ट तो नाउ वो कपड़े मेरा एक स्टोर है कोरेगांव पार्क में एक है नरे कैन आई सेल माय टी शर्ट विच इज हंड्रेड रुपीज टी शर्ट और टू हंड्रेड रुपीज टी शर्ट इन कोरेगांव पार्क लोग बोले कह रहे वो अच्छा नहीं वहां पे सामान अच्छा नहीं मिलता वो तो ग्रोसरी लेना भी बंद कर देंगे वहां पे कपड़े इतने गंदे हैं तो बाकी सामान कितना गंदा होगा पीपल विल नॉट बाय एनी अदर थिंग वही मैं नरे में पूछी डेढ़ सौ दो सौ रुपए का टी शर्ट 
people will be very happy. If person comes to buy a t-shirt, वो और दो चीजें खरीदेगा हाथ रुमाल खरीदेगा स्क्रॉप खरीदेगा बेल्ट खरीदेगा और कुछ खाएगा पिएगा हैंडपिन लेगा तो सेल इंक्रीज होगा तो व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट व्हाट आइटम आई शुड पुट ऑन व्हिच स्टोर दैट इज असोर्टमेंट असोर्टमेंट प्लान ये समझ में आया नाउ ठीक है मुझे समझ में आया कोरेगा पार्ट में मुझे कपड़े नहीं लेने बेचने चाहिए मुझे नरे में बेचने चाहिए बट कितने क्वांटिटी में राइट दैट इज योर इन्वेंटरी ऑफ इट तो उसमें क्या बताएगा कि यस योर टोटल कॉस्ट टोटल इन्वेंटरी इन नरे जो है एक करोड़ का सामान है एक करोड़ के सामान में यू यू शुड हैव ओनली ट्वेंटी लैख और थर्टी लैख के कपड़े होने चाहिए यू कैन नॉट हैव एक करोड़ का टोटल सामान जो है अस्सी करोड़ के कपड़े बेचे ये नहीं होना चाहिए बिकॉज देर इज अ डिमांड इन फूड फ्रेंड दैट इज योर इन्वेंटर ऑप्टिमाइजेशन वो भी जो आइटम ज्यादा चलता है बेचा जाता है कीप इट बैड ओके सो दैट सोल्यूशन विल गिव अस कि कौन सा आइटम बेचना चाहिए कितने क्वांटिटी में बेचना चाहिए एंड व्हाट इज द थर्ड वी नीड टू थर्ड प्रॉब्लम इज एट व्हाट प्राइस प्राइस ऑप्टिमाइजेशन थर्ड प्रॉब्लम इज एनालिटिकल ये मुझे ओएलटीपी जो पॉइंट ऑफ सेल सिस्टम में वो बताएगा क्या नहीं बताएगा बट दिस सिस्टम विल जनरेट अ डेटा फॉर अगर मैं एम आर पी में नरे में बेचूंगा तो नहीं ले बिकॉज पीपल आर प्राइस कॉन्शियस If I sell that at a MRP in Koregao part, so people will buy. People will not sell. So the price is going to be cheap and they will sell. They will not even look at the price. So I need to have a price optimization, and price optimization should be across within the store also. That may be possible across the organization or within the uh, within the store also, right? So much more price optimization. Huh? कितना प्राइस रखना है डिस्काउंट पे रखना है या नहीं सो ऑल दैट प्राइसिंग सॉल्यूशन विल गिव यू अगर लेट्स से कोई चीज है आपने इन्वेंटरी में 10 करोड़ का इन्वेंटरी आपके पास एंड इट इज नॉट सेलिंग व्हाट आर द ऑप्शंस फॉर यू अगर कोई चीज आपके पास है बट बेची नहीं जा रही है तो क्या करोगे आप बट अगर डिस्काउंट पे रखोगे तो आपको लॉस होगा क्या करोगे लेट से मेरे पास एक करोड़ के टूथपेस्ट है जो एक्सपायर हो सकते छह महीने में व्हाट आई शुड डू व्हाट आर द ऑप्शन गेट वन बाय वन प्राइस रिडक्शन ट्वेंटी परसेंट थर्टी परसेंट ओके सो बट आप बोलोगे ठीक है मैं प्राइस गेट वन बाय वन दे रहा हूँ लॉस है आपको तो लॉस में चीज आप बिजनेस करने के लिए बैठे हो आप फ्री में देने के लिए नहीं बैठे आपको लॉस हो जाए राइट बट वट इज द लॉस आपको कैसे पता चलेगा मुझे लॉस होगा अगर मैंने फिर गेट वन बाय वन दिया या फिर मैंने टेन परसेंट डिस्काउंट दिया मुझे लॉस होगा या प्रॉफिट होगा कैसे पता चलेगा ठीक है परचेज प्राइस लेट से परचेज प्राइस हंड्रेड है आपका आप एक सौ बीस में बेच रहे हो आपने डिस्काउंट दिया पांच रुपए एक सौ पंद्रह में बेच रहे हो फिर भी नहीं बेचा जा रहा है इट्स नॉट ए ट्रायल एंड एरर कि हाँ ठीक है नहीं बेचा जा रहा है एक सौ पंद्रह में दे दो इट इज ए ट्रायल एंड एयर एरर व्हेन यू वेर ओनर ऑफ वन स्टोर नाउ यू आर ओनर ऑफ लेट से टेन और हंड्रेड स्टोर और टोटल दस करोड़ का सामान है इट शुड नॉट बी ए ट्रायल एंड एरर की हाँ ठीक है पांच रुपए डिस्काउंट दे दो देखते जाते हैं There should be some data some backup in that case. So analytical system will tell you कि अरे 120 पे है ना historical बोलेगा actually में 120 था तो महीने के आपके let's say thousand rupees बेचेगा वो. अगर आप discount दोगे और promotion पे रखोगे तो 100 thousand की जगह पे 12 तो बेचेगा है. तो extra 200 बेचेंगे. Extra 200 में आपको कितना profit आता है? और वो profit अगर आप 
पे डिस्काउंट रखोगे देन इट इज प्रॉफिटेबल अगर आप डिस्काउंट रखोगे ट्वेंटी परसेंट और आपका सेल दस परसेंट होता है तो कुछ प्रॉफिट नहीं डिस्काउंट डाल के भी आपको प्रॉफिट नहीं तो निगेटिव यू कैन पुट अ डिस्काउंट ऑफ टेन परसेंट इफ योर सेल इंक्रीज बाय एटी परसेंट करेक्ट सेल आपका एटी परसेंट होगा तो मतलब आपका नेट प्रॉफिट एटी परसेंट होगा उस पर आप ट्वेंटी परसेंट डिस्काउंट दोगे तभी वो पॉसिबल है बट आर देर मी चांसेस फॉर दैट यू विल फाइंड आउट विद एनालिटिक्स कैसे फाइंड आउट करोगे यू विल सी हिस्टोरिकल मार्जिन अरे दिवाली में ना ज्यादा सेल होता है बारिश में इवन कुछ का सेल भी कम हो जाएगा बिकॉज पीपल डोंट गो आउटसाइड गो ऑफन इवन दो यू यू स्पेस डेली वो होने की वजह से भी देर इज अम्पैक्ट बारिश अरे आज नहीं जाता मैं स्पेस से थोड़ा सा यूज कर लूंगा आज ब्रश नहीं किया चलेगा राइट सो यू विल डिले दैट बिकॉज ऑफ वेदर दिवाली है अरे मैं क्या दिवाली शॉपिंग कर रहा हूँ खत्म हो गया क्या याद नहीं कि ले लो सो दैट्स द हैबिट इट विल हैव हिस्टोरिकली इट मींस ड्यूरिंग ड्यूरिंग द दिवाली पीरियड योर सेल विल ऑटोमेटिकली इंक्रीज पुट द डिस्काउंट देयर एंड सेल पीपल विल ऑटोमेटिकली बाय घर पे है फिर भी बोलेगा अरे नहीं कि एक ऑलरेडी है एक ऑलरेडी ले लेते हैं इट वाज डिस्काउंट पे राइट सो दैट्स द बिहेवियर यू विल डू एंड price optimization will help you in deciding that theek hai so humne point of system kon kon se dekhe abhi humne first system we saw is inventory system second system humne kya dekha point of sale system third system point of sale which is oltp the third system humne dekha analytical system okay and we have a different solution so hum analytical solution banayenge either inventory optimization assortment planning price optimization Clear? Yeah? Okay. So that is about something. Let me think about any other thing. Okay. Now, ah, uh, first, when you then I'll come to one more system which we are going to do. So, my customer, how many were there before? I think thousand, thousand customers were there. Abhi. 2017 में 3000 कस्टमर थे बट इन द ईयर 2020 आई हैव 1 मिलियन कस्टमर ओके और फिर मैं रिवॉर्ड पॉइंट भी देता हूं उनको रिवॉर्ड प्रोग्राम भी चलाया मैं सो आई वांट टू कीप द डेटा आई वांट टू सी अरे मेरे कस्टमर जो बाय करते हैं उनका एवरेज ग्रुप क्या है भाई व्हाई उनका इनकम कितना है व्हाई आई वांट टू नो दैट बिकॉज़ आई वांट टू गिव गुड ऑफर टू देम वो कहां पे रहते हैं उनका लाइफस्टाइल कैसा है बेस्ड ऑन दैट आई विल आई कैन ऐड द प्रोडक्ट्स इनटू माय सिस्टम सो थर्ड सिस्टम एनालिटिक फोर्थ एनालिटिकल सिस्टम आई वांट टू बिल्ड इट कस्टमर एनालिटिक्स तो कस्टमर एनालिटिक्स से मुझे क्या पता चलेगा कि मेरे कस्टमर कहां पे लोकेटेड कहां पे है वो कौन से एज ग्रुप के है उनका इनकम क्या है राइट इफ आई नो कि अरे कोरे गांव में जो कस्टमर है उनका एवरेज इनकम ईयरली टेन लाख है और उनका एज ग्रुप बिलो फिफ्टी है मीन्स दे आर दर तो यंग लोगों को क्या पसंद आता है सो यू विल पुट फैंसी टी शर्ट फोर्ड या ऐसे कार एक्सेसरी दस माई कस्टमर यूज कार और नॉट कोरे गांव पार्क में मुझे पता चला मेरे जो कस्टमर है आउट ऑफ मतलब हंड्रेड थाउजेंड एक लाख कस्टमर कोरेगा पार्क में है आउट ऑफ दैट एक लाख लोग मे बी ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड लोगों के पास कार है तो मैं कार एक्सेसरी भी बेचूंगा करो तो दैट विल हेल्प मी टू गेट द इनसाइट ऑफ द कस्टमर बट नरे में कस्टमर कम है दोज पीपल आर मोर शेयर शेयर सर्विस यूज करते हैं शेयर राइड यूज करते हैं सो आई आई शुड नॉट सेल द कार एक्सेसरीज इन दैट स्टोर तो That is, I want to know my customer. So the fourth analytical solution, I want to do customer analytic. Or the customer analytic, customer, how to register? Karega. So whenever they come to my store, I will give some form to them. They will fill up their information, or I will have some offers to them. Okay. So I need to have a OLTP system for them. So I have a. Uh, पहला सिस्टम हमने देखा 
point of sale system ka dusra system ka sales ka system which is pu uh, sorry inventory third system mein customer customer master ya i'll just name the system jahan pe sab customer ka data rahega okay i added this system i have inventory point of sale customer now abhi kya ho raha hai yahan pe main jab bechta tha to mere paas 20000 product the khali now the product number of product or also increase so i have uh 5 million product million jata hoga so 5 lakhs product hai alag alag product milta hai so abhi how do i know ki mere ye jo product hai ye main bechna chahiye ya nahi bechna chahiye let's say naya product aata hai let me think of any new product uh, self is thing okay ye product मुझे ये बेचना चाहिए या नहीं बेचना चाहिए उसका बार कोड क्या होगा उसका सेल्स हिस्ट्री क्या है ऑल दैट इंफॉर्मेशन आई आई वांट टू स्टोर ये प्रोडक्ट कौन कौन से स्टोर में बेचा जा रहा है अभी कौन से स्टोर में नहीं है एंड व्हाट इज द कॉम्पिटिटिव प्राइस फॉर दिस सो ऑल दैट इज फॉर प्रोडक्ट रिलेटेड इंफॉर्मेशन आई वांट टू स्टोर सो आई हैव फोर्थ सिस्टम व्हिच इज द ट्रांजैक्शनल सिस्टम जहां पे मैं मेरे जो प्रोडक्ट ऐड करूंगा प्रोडक्ट कैटलॉग Okay, I have the fourth system, which is the product catalog, which stores only the product information. So I have product catalog, I have inventory, I have point of sale system, I have customer master where there is the customer information, and then यहाँ पे वो दिखेगा मुझे, and then I have the OLTP or OLAP or analytical system, जहाँ से मैं ये different analytics करूँगा. समझ में आया? So that I'll I'll just do this overview a brief. Let me know if you understand or have any difficulty in understanding this term. So much here. Okay. Now we want to concentrate on these solutions. So, in your resume, if you put detailed project, so you can say that my program was intended to do the inventory optimization, and I was working for. Um, inventory optimization that my project within that i had three pod within the three pod i was working as pod where the pod was dedicated for data ingestion the pod was dedicated for creating data mart or pod was uh, intended for generating the reports or something like that that you can mention or report to the specific area right that what you can mention someone can say i was belonging to the uh program for modernization of assortment planning right for cloud migration uh, for assortment planning solution just make some word fancy words and you can explain that core part yahi rahe business problem to change hone wale nahi hai okay you can say that i was working for a program to modernize the price optimization solution or cloud migration to the product uh, price optimization solution or you you can say that uh, i was working to build the modernized customer analytical solution for the retail that was the program and, and i was part of that program to build the data lake part of the data lake project so that's what you can mention or even just you can simply say i was part of customer analytics project uh, for retail for this company you can name any company any retailer and that's how you will proceed further ye samajh mein aaya and then you will have point of sale system point of inventory system customer analytics uh, product catalog system these are the different system you will use okay so now we'll switch to if you want to take the picture take the picture of this or if you want to put
Any question? Which question there?
Okay, I'm sharing my uh, I'm sharing my screen. Let me know once you are able to see. Let me know once you're able to see the screen. Okay. Okay, this slide tick may just in Nam they sound. Okay, so I'm creating a data lake, retail data lake, and I'm going to give the name as retail data lake architecture. So we are creating, can you listen to me? So we are creating a data lake and with the data lake, we are going to create a data warehouse. We are going to create a feature store. We are going to do the reporting. In this system, we'll get a data from inventory, customer system, the char system on the volley. POS systems the data lake. We will have batch data. We will have a streaming data. And on top of that, we'll do some sentiment analysis kind of thing, which will get the data from the web. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'll just copy. Save the time. I'll just edit the existing one as per well our requirements. Okay. So are you able to see now? Please pay attention. Okay. I hope everybody is able to see the screen. So, pehle I have AWS account here. Now, I'll I'm just going to create it for development. So, I'll just name it as Okay, we just want to create a data lake architecture for detail. I'm going to have an AWS account, AWS cloud. Here, I'll just name it account number. I'll just specify. You'll be account number, a, you, you will add it here. And this account number uh, is called development. This is just a development account. Are you able to see it? Okay. Within this account, I'm going to choose the one region. Okay. I can choose. I have the multiple regions. Okay. I have US one, West one, and this is US East one. I chose two reasons. Why? Second region, agar regional failure occur kar sakta hai, to main, mujhe backup chahiye. Right? So I'll have the same setup repeated into the separate region. And I'll call it as a disaster recovery one DR. Okay. So I'll just paste, I have it here. Within the region, there are what? 
availability zone, right? And each availability zone, I'll, I create a one subnet associated with one availability zone. So, within the region, I created the VPC, virtual private cloud, and in there are different subnets. So, I choose only one subnet, or you can have multiple subnets. So, may it sort of delete the will keep adding the other things. Okay, so our first system is which one we have written there? Fourth system is written below. Yes, point of sale system. Now what is happening? Point of sale systems are very old systems. Those rubber, they should be rubber systems. Meaning there should not be a failure. There should not be a lot of computation to it. So. Okay, added this system. यहाँ पे sales record होता है. ये system में sales record होता है. अभी मुझे क्या चाहिए? जब भी sales record हो, I, I have two options today. One, जब भी record हो sales, अगर मैं जाता हूँ and I purchase something, sales में record होता है and I pay, immediately I should receive the record. There are two use cases. Okay. Clear. So now you maybe on your Streaming Let me know once you're able to see the screen. Let me get hello. Let me get the image for Kafka uh, and I want to any Apache Kafka or Confluent Kafka. What is the difference between Apache Kafka and Confluent Kafka? Does anybody know? Nine. Apache is open source. Confluent is proprietary. Confluent is a company which customizes and they use it. 
do you know about what is open source and proprietary yes open source kya source is available you can edit the source and you can use it source code aap edit kar sakte ho anything you can build your own operating system you can build your own kafka and everything only thing is you cannot commercialize it commercialize matlab aap product bana ke you can use it and you can customize it say foundation and they have taken some rights to make the commercialization of it so unhone on top of that kuch connectors banaye hain kuch uh, jaise for example in simple terms if i have to tell you tata motors jab truck banata hai so it just has a chassis only body nahi rehta so now it's your choice whether you want to make a truck to it or whether you want to make it a mini van or food truck or petrol truck petrol jo leke jata hai it's your choice chassis is there similarly apache is providing that platform and you build on top of that whatever you want okay so con uh, i'll take the apache kafka because it's open source or i can also take the confluent for now i'll just mention apache kafka but it can be confluent or apache generally organization mein confluent kafka use karte hain the reason is that there are predefined libraries are there and easy to maintain and easy to manage lot of things are available okay okay are you so far with me okay so i have this as 400 air force 400 se messages jaate hai kafka mein okay i'll have it it for one and from this i have a raw bucket okay this messages come to the raw bucket okay then i should also get it from the database meaning kya ho raha hai as 400 se at the end of the day it's going to some database and from database also i should get this into the system so that is also happening again it is coming on s3 so i'll again change this to third one so i'm getting the both the messages streaming as well as history so i can database okay. yes okay. it's a system main from system okay what is as 400 it's a main from system which stores the data point of sale system ka data i just mentioned historical sales system and this is my Okay, and I'll just add it here.
तो पॉइंट ऑफ सेल सिस्टम है पॉइंट ऑफ सेल सिस्टम में डेटा डेटाबेस में जाता है एंड दैट एस फोर हंड्रेड सिस्टम जहाँ पे डेटा स्टोर होता है इट इज पुशिंग दैट डेटा टू काफका एंड फ्रॉम काफका द डेटा इज कमिंग टू एस थ्री द रॉ लेयर में आता है ओके आई थिंक आई जस्ट ओके फॉर राइट नाउ आई कीप इट रॉ आई वॉन्ट टू गेट इट एज लैंडिंग इंस्टीट ऑफ रॉ बट कीप इट लेट से इट्स रॉ ओके then on a daily basis same data goes to historical data store sales ka okay on database or every night i pull that data and again i load that data to s3 and there there may be used for different purpose so i just add it here now ye clear ho gaya so now let's go to the next thing the customer what is the next one point of sales ke inventory so again there is the inventory system and consider that there are lot of oracle hai yeah, inventory system there is oracle ops or ya fir uh ye le lo uh, sap le lo sap wo system hai and generally oracle is used for inventory management which shows kitne system hai the name of the system is apex apex naam ka system hai oracle inventory management system to wo system hai so obviously database kaun sa rahega it's a oracle database So second source for me is the Oracle database. Uh, okay. okay, this is the Oracle inventory DB. Oracle system me data aata hai, and I also want this data to go to. So it's me extract hoga. database and that data after extraction data will go to the s3 and here also i want to add the extract layer so daily file extract hogi or daily that will move to the there will be some processes which will extract the data and that processes will extract and put the data to the s3 location ye samajh mein aaya ओके ओके सो वी आर गेटिंग ऑल द इनपुट डेटा इन टू द एस टी लोकेशन वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट वन कस्टमर मास्टर सो देर इज अगेन वन मोर सिस्टम फॉर कस्टमर मास्टर विच इज लेट्स ए थर्ड पार्टी सिस्टम एंड सम बैंक सो इट दे गिव अस द एस थ्री फाइल्स ओनली सो दिस इज फाइल्स फ्रॉम कस्टमर मास्टर okay and third party system is giving that data to us okay what is the next product catalog so for product catalog uh, uh, again it can be some system the data which is coming is it's not oracle data uh it is different data okay instead of this this data is uh i'm trying to get a different data let me see yes sorry so the customer the question is what is customer master the customer master will hold the information about the customer now 
Okay, that's a good question. If you ask the question, I can elaborate. The question here, what is the customer master? Customer master is an application where you can store the customer account. What it is? You create Amazon account. And so there you have your account ID, your first name, last name, email ID, phone number, your credit card information, your address, this is all information you give. So that information is stored in the customer master, which is separated from the POS system. Can you tell me why it is separate to the customer data? Or part of the data is just separate to the you know why? The reason is what type of data, the customer data is what type of data? What type of data it is? Sorry, can you repeat? Yes, CIA information, personal identifiable information, which is critical. Other than Dimart, which is the final employee of Dimart, or point of the system, which is the same. Amisa Western is also a customer, or a phone number, or email. I think it's this guy. Instead, what they will show me customer ID. That's it. You can't get any other point of the system. You can't get any other point of the system. You can't get any other point of the system. Amisa Western put an online sale. Then they will not know what is. They will just know the customer ID. Correct? And that is how we separate. Not to separate out the, the point of sale system and customer. What does the other reason? The other reason we can get is if we put the customer information in point of sale system, is there any reason for that information? There is no reason. Second thing, it will take the extra information. Whether it is the address, what variety. Or attribute for carbon. So, why is needed for the system? Point of sale system just want to know to say, Karita, you need ID, and you can take the other information. Right? Similarly, that is your customer. Then, why we want to separate out the product catalog? Product catalog is separate from the customer. Product catalog to PI information. Product catalog me kya karo ka? Information about the product. What information do you have? What the color of the product, what the size of the product, what is the weight of the product, who is the supplier of the product, what is the cost of the product, then what is the precaution to be taken for the product, is it implementable, is it, does it have restrictions, is there any like legal restrictions on this product, uh, when the product is introduced, what is the expiry of the product? Is that information is required in front of the system? No, it's not required. The user can engage a product type. That's right. These are the two only things they need. They don't want to know other information, see color, size, 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 it's not required. But it is required where? It is required in product type. When my product adds the product, the food is the same as the PRA. If that person doesn't know about the product, then we will look up into the product that the size is here, it will fit into the product. Okay, so product catalog is also separate. Does we need the inventory information? Point of sale system, need inventory information? No. They don't want to know how to keep the product purchased. If it's out of sale, stock may not be. Customer ke paas moto live and point of sale system naja nahi hai. There is no need for inventory information on the point of sale system. So much better. Any other question? So now see the benefit. She asked one question and you get clarified on the two points. Right? That's the importance. If you ask the question, you will get to know more. Okay, so we have here uh, the product catalog, product catalog system, Manelia, uh, MySQL. Okay, so there will be a system which will connect it here. And from this database, uh, there will be extract from there. And this extract 
we go from here to the S3 location. Okay, so every data is coming to S3. <clears throat> now, how it will come, we'll see in the details. Something will, there will be, now these files are uploaded via SFTP. So I'll just remove this. Sorry, what happened? Any question? No? Yeah, I'll, so what is SFTP? So there is a SFTP server, uh, I'll just, instead of EC2 SFTP, I'll just mention. Okay, what is HTTP? Applic HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, it's a protocol. What is protocol then? What is HTTP? What is SFTP? What is FTP? Yes. So if you remember back in time, so I mentioned data get transfer in bytes and then you encrypt and get the data there. So when the data transfers over a network, anybody can interrupt that signal. The hackers kya karte? They can inter because all laptops are connected. The data ye cable se ja hai, they can hack that and get the data. Aapka password hai. So if you put it plain text, password, network, pipeline mein to password hai. They can read that, bytes and convert it and read it and get the password over a network. Right? So there are certain protocols to safeguard that as well. So HTTPS is there. Now you want to transfer the file. So FTP is there. SFTP is making the connection system to system. Okay. It's a secure uh, transfer protocol, file transfer protocol, SFTP, right? These are the different protocols that being used to transfer the file. So you drop the file at one location on a server and other person connects to that with the SFTP protocol to that network ID because every server has a network ID, correct? Aapke laptop mein agar what is my IP? Other search for okay, you will get your global IP. So here, you can see that it is detecting the IP. Or ye IP konsa rahega? It's a global IP. You can see that this is my global IP, and you can get the other information, uh, what is it, where it is located, it is in Pune, right? And who is the broadband ISP provider for this? All that information, you can get it. So IP is important. Based on IP, you can trace the location. After Zunaoga, then we use a proxy server, right? Why we use a proxy server? So outside world, ko lagega, main yahan pe hu, but I am, will be in the different location. So those are the proxy servers. Uh, anyway, those are the network uh, networking concept. Anybody who's coming from networking background, they may know what I'm talking about. Uh, so right now we are not concentrating on that. So that some protocols are there, SFTP, STP. How to connect that? There are certain tools, Win SAP, uh, Putty, and there are uh, SFTP is the command line there, which them connect. Kar sakte. There is a is there any username password? Yes, there you can connect with the username and password, or you can connect with the key also, key pair also. So that is the SFTP server. Okay, this file is coming from SFTP server, then extract, and someone is pushing that. I'm going to delete this IoT because it is not relevant in the current project for right now. Okay, so these are the sources. What is the next system listed there? We have POS, we have inventory, we have product catalog, we have customer master. Anything left there? Okay, we have all four systems listed. Now, I want to add one more system, which is uh, some web services. Uh, 
the data that I want to get is a product review data for customer sentiment. So there is a third party company. Let's say there is a third party survey company which did the survey on the product. Once the product has rating and all those. Now I want that data. Okay. Or customer survey data is the survey data I just mentioned. And they give, they have a web service and we need to fetch the, that data from web service to SP. Now, how we are going to do that, we'll see more in a detail. So data will come from these different sources to the raw location. Now, I want to run, I want to do from raw to refine, the data refine karna chata. So what I should use? So first, what are the things you learn uh, in AWS? What are the compute layers, compute services you learn? or data analytics services you have learned. Data analytics services, kon kon se aapne hai? Glue, EMR, Redshift, Athena, right? Have you looked at AWS Batch? Okay, so we can take few of the services which will do the that part and part. So I am just choosing the glue service, glue okay. job. So my glue job start karunga. So data jaha pe aata hai, then I will refine that and put it into the, and I can use a Lambda function to trigger the glue job, or I can, I'll just have it a Lambda function here just to trigger it, okay? So glue job will trigger, it will refine the job. Once the data is refined, then EMR jobs will run. EMR will just put that data into transform layer. Now, this transform layer is nothing my data lake. I'll name it as data lake. Okay. So, I'll delete this. I'll come to this snowflake part. For your project, I'm just changing architecture a little bit. Okay, so now you also have Athena, uh, which you can have a glue crawler and through glue crawler on all three buckets, you will crawl the data, you will have a catalog and you can fit. Athena. So I keep it as at the top level, so you can work on that. One. So now transform layer, uh, I want to do two things with the EMR or the data which is here on EMR, I want to create a data warehouse, okay? And that data warehouse, I want to put it into, I have two options to put it into uh, RDS or I have another option to put in the Snowflake. Now, many bola aapko am data warehouse bhi banana chaate and we want to create a feature source. So I will create uh, RDS, should we use or not? RDS we will use for, but for other purpose, not for the data analytics. I'll tell you why we'll use the RDS. Uh, let's see, we have a Redshift. And the second thing we want to use is Snowflake. We'll keep, the, keep the RDS separate. Okay, I keep the RDS separate for right now. I have a red shift and I have a snowflake right now. Okay, so I have this storage. I have this as a tier. I'm from EMR, the data will go to the snowflake. Are you tired? No? Is it boring? So EMR se main data lake se data le I will do some aggregation and other thing. 
तो स्नोफ्लेक में मैं स्टोर करना चाहता हूं डेटा वेयर हाउस वॉट इज डेटा वेयर हाउस वॉट इज डेटा वेयर हाउस इट इज द डेटा वेयर हाउस इज इन स्नोफ्लेक एंड रेड शेप इन द रेड शेप I want to store a feature store. What is feature store? What is feature store? What is feature? So the attribute, जो aggregated attributes हमने बनाए, that is a feature. What is the feature store? हम जहाँ पे store करने वाले हैं, that is a feature store where you will have historical information of the feature values and other thing different feature by model by entity and other thing will store in a feature store so feature store emr kya karega data aggregate karke detailed data store se feature store mein dalega now you have feature store you have uh, this thing now on top of this ye ho gaya okay I'll save this just to make sure we have everything. Okay. Now I have a RDS. RDS may Q use karna chata. The reason is that I there are certain control job control tables. Mera data aya ki nahi aya. Mera data process hua ki nahi hua. Konsa job fail hua. Konsa uh, stuck hai. Konsa stage pe stuck hai. Kitna record process kiye. That's the job control framework. Okay, so I use RDS for job control framework. Okay, and then you have a quick sight. Uh, I'll prefer to use Power BI, or do you want me to use a quick sight or Power BI? Which one you prefer? I'll use the Power BI. So as a reporting tool, I am using a Power BI. So reporting is pe hoga data warehouse ke data pe. I'll create a report in Power BI. Now here I say Power BI is with on the AWS, but we can have that in other servers also on the Microsoft server. For right now, uh, let me see if we, we can put it outside of AWS or say I'll just say that it is on the same environment. AWS पे ही मैंने Power BI इंस्टॉल किया है और सर्विस तो I have Power BI reports running here now okay I have this Power BI report what about the feature store feature store में हमने features बनाए but use कौन करेगा who will use this features who will use this features Data scientists, yes. So, what tool they will use? Data scientists will use. Yeah, machine learning model. Any service from AWS they will use. Sage Maker. Uh, I'll I can add the Sage Maker or they can use the Python also to build the model and run the model. So, I'll just mention here. Uh, a model service, anything for ML?
Let me choose the right logo for it. Okay, I'm, for right now, I'm just using the SageMaker. Uh, but logo में Sage Maker का use कर रहा हूँ but the service will be any other service okay so there will be ML models which will use the feature store okay and the other service like Secret Manager I am SNS Cloud Rail, Cloud Watch, those will be other services that can be used. Now, Snowflake here we use for data warehouse where we load the data, we we'll process the data and create it. Okay. The processing will will do the processing on the Snowflake itself to do the aggregation. Snowflake, uh, we can directly access the data from the data lake as well, or we can use the EMR to process. So both the both things I will keep it open. So I'll from transform. Okay, I'll just keep it uh, EMR only to process that. You can also read the data from external store and use it. We have seen the external store and internal store uh, in Snowflake, right? Stages, do you remember? No? Okay. We'll see that. Abhi tak humne kya dekha? Snowflake, maine aapko bataya tha ki Snowflake stores the data in micro partition. Just like a Redshift, Redshift mein kya hota hai? Data stored in some Redshift, Redshift proprietary format. Similarly, in Snowflake, data is stored in Snowflake compatible proprietary format. Correct? So data must be in Snowflake format in order to access the data. If you are accessing data which is outside of Snowflake, that is called as external store data. The data which is stored in the Snowflake format is called internal store data. Now, I have Redshift my question. What is the difference between Redshift Spectrum and Redshift? Yade? Right? So similarly, in Snowflake, you can read the data to store on S3 in the Snowflake. That is called the external store. And stage also that is called the stage. And then you have to load the data in order to process efficiently in the snowflake. So those are the features we'll also see in the coming lecture. So as I was here in person, I want to make sure you understand the project architecture, and then we'll switch back again to the uh, project snowflake core part, core features. Okay, but a back and forth, but I hope you understand it, right? Because the project in person, if I am project, I explain the round, so which is much more understandable rather than offline or online, right? Any other question on this project architecture? Uh, it may Jira. These are the project manager. Jira and Confluence are the project manager. Grafana is the tool which data engineer doesn't use. It's a monitoring tool. With support may have and that after EMR should be 24 hour running and us may say cluster fail or tire so, so they will get notified they will if job fail or tire so they will get notified it's the post production full I only the part to support for the one they monitor that one uh rest like PyCharm, uh VS Code, Jupyter, those are ID that you can use for your development. Okay, any other questions? Any other service that is missing in this architecture that you want to include? So we cover ideas, we have uh, EMR, we have Glue, we have Glue Catalog, S3. Airflow here, I included the Airflow. Do you want to learn the Airflow or you want to skip that one? Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Okay. We'll also take the airflow. I think have we learned the airflow in the beginning? No. Okay. Okay. It's a Python based, so it is used for orchestration purpose. Uh, I don't think you will have any 
complications understanding the health problem. Okay. Anything you want to know about Jira and Confluence? Have you understand about Agile methodology? Okay. And now I'm going to push this architecture diagram to Git. Okay, so you will have this on a git, this diagram on a git. If I make any modifications, you will get the latest update. It is in the picture. Now I'm going to push the every code to the dev branch for right now. Okay, uh, there are two more concepts that are remaining in the project time point of view. Uh, let me explain that. Okay. So docs is the one thing I added. What I should do to add this to the Git? Abhi ye changes maine add kiye. Ye kaha pe hai? Local mein. Mere system mein. Now I want to add it to the Git repository. What I should do? Git add. Then what? Okay, git commit. Okay. And then finally git push. So I'm pushing this data. So all the things will be pushed to the remote repository from my local repository. On which branch? Feature branch. Right now I'm in feature branch. Can you see feature job one in the branch? Okay. So it got pushed. So in order to merge this to the dev branch, what I am going to do is is I'm going to create a PR. I went to GitHub. This is the project that we are working on. I should be on job feature one branch. Now you tell me how, how to raise the PR. Full request, how to raise the how to raise I, how I should raise the pull request now? So one minute ago, I say here, click on the pull request. I say create a new pull request. Now, what should be my base? What should be my base? Dev branch. So I selected Dev branch. From what? Feature. Okay, then it will show what is the changes and how many commits you have. So you can see that these are the different commits I have made and these are the different messages, the commit points of that. Okay, and I'll say create pull request. And that I can add the reviewers. If there are reviewers, I can add the reviewers to it. Uh, do you want me to add any reviewers to this? Okay, let me show you. Um, I'll go to the setting. Can anybody tell uh, the email ID who is already on the gate? Can anybody who is on the already on gate? GitHub pe koi hai? Yes. You can tell me the email ID. Yeah, please tell your email. 
ईमेल आईडी जस्ट ईमेल आईडी ईमेल आईडी और यूजर नेम इज आल्सो फाइन सॉरी आई एम टेकिंग जी जी आई एल ई ए जी राकेश did not find on github j i l j i l t a sorry t h e g i l t h e okay okay he is added as in the repository now in the repository he is added you need to confirm that will be pending in what is there email you will get a email or some of it you got it uh, have you accepted okay so now you are added as a collaborator to this okay now i will see if you can be added as a reviewer so i'm going to create a new pull request i'm the main is the development and want to push it from the feature branch and create a pull request uh, on the reviewers you are the reviewer right now i selected you as a reviewer okay and i'm going to assign assign is assigning the task to you this repository to you so that you can merge automatically okay and i'll say create a pull request okay now you can see that at the bottom can you please pay attention review requested review requested to whom the pending reviewer so i have requested him for review he will review the code and now i can also merge or he can also merge the code because i am the owner uh, i can do that uh, if the rest is, because i am the owner of the project itself so i have but if i am the contributor only i will not have that access so have you reviewed it on the git i have just an email review requested uh the, can you share your screen so you will have a review request i'm going to stop the screen share at what id you have joined Now you are the host. Uh, you can share. No, I gave you. Okay, you are the host now, and you can share. You are. He is going to review, and he is going to merge the code. So he is sharing his screen. Okay, so you. you can see that there is a pending reviewer and uh, rakesh has been requested for a review okay click on the scroll up a little 
scroll up see the file change click on the file change okay these are all files are changed and on the top side you'll see the review changes click on that okay you can say uh, add your comment or you can approve it or if suppose he says that okay uh, he has some issues he will add some comment i did a review and this is the my comment this code needs a modification he can add a comment or he can approve mentioning the message that i approve the code or he can request for the changes i don't feel this code is correct make this change or he can say this change is not approved or not approved because of these changes so right now you can click on approve and just click on the submit so in production maybe you can add a, some comments and go back to the pull request okay now you can see that one approval the code has received one approval after a approval you can go and do the merge of pull request merge kaha se hoga feature branch se development branch mein code merge ho jayega you can do the merge right now merge pull request okay and confirm merge or you can add the comment if you want okay it's done go back to the pull request pull request tab go up okay do you see any open pull request you see two closed requests there okay the one i previously closed and the code is now merged to the development branch so whenever you do the pull code pull from development branch you will have the latest changes that we push to the code got it okay now you can make the whole thing any other question now you said that you want to know about uh, jira and uh, git now right let me see if i have that Okay, so I have logged in to Altacean, which is the company which created the software as a service. What is software as a service? But what is that? What is that? Yes. Yes. So you don't have to worry about the infrastructure. You don't have to worry about the license operating system, right? So you don't have to worry about the hardware of it. The software is ready and it is usable. That's the software as a service. So we have a infrastructure as a service. I A A S infrastructure. Now up. Let's take an example of the source that we want. So, you have a solution banana hai, like inventory optimization. Excel. So, you have a hardware. You will purchase the hardware. So, I will get it from the cloud. Okay. So, the, in, on the cloud, I'll get a machine that's which is your. Okay. So, you have a solution. 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 Okay. So, you have a solution.
infrastructure as a service. You get an infrastructure. On that infrastructure, you will select the OS, the patching, and other thing you will install. All, all the things. You will install your own software. But after some time, you said, okay, kya ho raha hai? headache Infrastructure as a service bhi liya. To bhi patching, hardware, sorry, uspe software, maintenance karna, backup lena, disaster recovery banana, which is tedious work. So you said, I want to reduce that and I want to go to the platform as a service. Give me a data platform, I'll use that. Give me a database type of thing like RDS. Right? RDS kya, RDS kya hai? Database already installed. Usme mujhe installation karne ke jarurat nahi hai. Right? Versus EC2 instance liya mene aur uspe oracle dala. Or directly RDS liya oracle. Ado no me difference hai. What is the difference? Uspe mujhe EC2 instance liya na padega. Uspe software oracle ka license karin na padega. Oracle install karna padega. Oracle ke patches aayenge. Bo install karne padenge. Security maintain karna padega. Size maintain karna padega. Okay. So in infrastructure service, I have the challenges. Versus platform as a service, I got the Oracle directly. This URL bilega, disaster recovery, backup, and everything will be automatically handled. But Abhi Muji Kati are a Wobi headache and Oracle Oracle is lay because I have to create a database there, right? I have to build the application, sales wall application, a job the application of banana prega. I also don't want to do that. So now I want to go to some company which creates the software which can be used for let's say product catalog software or customer uh, master software to customer ka information Usme kya hoga hai? They, i'll just sign up for it just like gmail may sign up karte hai. sign up kiya it will give me everything the form everything validations and everything they will manage can my software kaun sa hai kaun sa language mein application likha hai kaun se os pe chal raha hai Kitna size hai, uh, availability hai ya nahi hai, downsize kya hai, uh, disaster recovery environment hai ya nahi hai. Everything is managed by that company. So that's the software as a service. Okay. So infrastructure, platform, software, these are the different services you can use. So Altacian has given it as a software as a service. Just may software is already there. Just plug and play and use it. So there is a Jira software. I don't know how long that free plan will be. Yes. 
Okay, so I just logged into the sign up for Jira. I'm just creating the site name is already taken. Brainwork BES, I just typed it. I just want to use it for software developer. Okay, so it is provisioning the software for me based on the feedback I gave. Okay, so I just choose a simple board, visualize your workflows. Okay, can you please pay attention? Last four hours and then we'll be done. Okay. Okay. Last four hours. Uh, just the last 10 minutes and then we'll stop here. Okay. Just want to tell about the Jira and um, Agile methodology. Agile may have never done that. It's print. So two weeks, one sprint. Can you please listen? 10 minutes. Last 10 minutes. Okay, so we said that there is a methodology to execute the project and which is the second methodology. One is the waterfall we discussed. Second is the agile. Agile is a continuous improvement, continuous development. It's just the improvement. There is no failure in agile. It's always the improvement. Okay, so agile, make out there is a sprint. The goal decided for every two weeks and every week, every day, there is a scrum call. In the scrum call, you call what you are working on today, what you are going to work today, what you have worked in the yesterday. And are there any issues? You report that uh, work is assigned on the first day of sprint. During the sprint planning, sprint planning happens where there are certain stories already there. Those stories are discussed and story point are given and stories are assigned to every developer. That's the generally sprint planning happens. Okay. There are a lot of things I'll cover uh, shortly. So let's say our project name is uh, retail data analytics. So our project is now, let's say this is my Kanban project. Uh, I'm not sure I can rename it, but Assume that my Kanban project is the project that we are working. I don't think I can edit this. Let's see. Uh, no, they want me to get an upgrade. So for every sprint, there is a sprint board. Sprint board me kya hota hai? To do, kaun sa kaam karna hai? In progress, kaun sa kaam chal raha hai abhi? Or kaun sa done hua? And there can be other also, so let's say QA review can be the one more board. Okay, so review should happen before that done. Review means QA. So uh, on this board, now there is a sprint. So there will be every sprint and let's create a project plan first. I think. Okay, it will ask for the upgrade. 
Okay, I'm creating an issue. Okay, and uh, there are different type of issues you can create. Okay, okay, good. Uh, hope it is not asking me to upgrade. So generally, you can create a task. So epic. Epic mein bola tha. Epic is the complete picture. So Epic, let's say, uh, now let's take an example of our project. So Epic mein bana ra, project mein, project diagram, where is our project diagram? This is our project diagram. Epic mein bana ra, get the data from POS, get streaming data from POS is my Epic. Point of sales streaming. Get point of sales streaming data is the name of my epic. Okay. Ye epic may be summary rega. What is it for? Uh, is this is required or not? And all that assign rega uh, to whom to assign. So, Okay, description. Let me add some description. Okay, this is the Okay, and when this start, if it comes chalu na chahiye, you can specify the start date, when it should start, when it should end, the due date and all those things. Uh, oh, it's the project setting. Okay, I clicked on the project and from the project, I went click on the create. So create is the issue. What type of issues I can create? And in which, in which uh, project? So I want to create the epic inside the project and issue type is the epic. My epic banana chata. What should be the status of this epic? To do, my karne wala. What is the summary? Get data from uh, point of sale and get streaming data. Okay. That is the epic assignee. Kisko assign karna chata hu? This assign to me only. What is the label? Any labels? Just like a tag that we give, these are the labels. Start date cup hai. I want to start on from 27. End cup karna hai. Let's say I want to end on next month, 27. Okay. Let's say sprint aaj se chalu hota hai amara. So I just took it. Uh, color, who is the owner of this epic and anything, any link. Is there an already dependency on that? I can add it and uh, create an epic. Okay, and I'll say create this view one. So now see that it 
created with the project prefix and one. This is my epic is created under the epic. Okay, there. Uh, Okay, so now I want to uh, add the stories inside this epic. Okay, now go to actions. I'll, or I can do directly here. Project konsa hai mera? Project same hai ye. Issue type kya hai? Task. I just want to create a task. Now task. क्या है वॉट इज द टास्क आई वॉन्ट टू एड इट हियर लेट से आई वॉन्ट टू एड इन दिस एपिक इंस्टॉल का इज माई टास्क असाइन टू इट माई सेल्फ Okay, I am the reporter and everything, and create an issue. Just want to link it to the epic. Okay, I have created this as a story. Okay, now the story I want to link it. Uh, what is the parent or epic? ओके दिस इज रिलेटेड टू दिस आई जस्ट लिंक्ड इट तो इपिक के अंदर ये टास्क है या स्टोरी है ठीक है एंड दिस स्टोरी दिस इंस्टॉल काफ्का नीड्स टू असाइन टू समवन सो इट इज असाइन टू मी नाउ आई कैन गो टू द बोर्ड ओके आई कैन गो टू द बोर्ड नाउ यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज नाउ देयर विल बी सम बोर्ड और प्रिंट्स ओके Add view. Okay, and my timeline. तो यू कैन सी दिस इज माई टाइम लाइन व्यू जहाँ पे ये इपिक है और ये कहाँ से चालू होता है कहाँ पे एंड होता है एंड अंडर दिस इपिक आई कैन ऑल्सो हैव सब कैटेगरीज जैसे व्यू सेटिंग्स आई कैन आस्क टू शो द टास्क अंडर इट ऑल्सो यहाँ पे टास्क भी दिखाई देंगे आई कैन क्रिएट द प्लान ऑफ इट नाउ स्प्रिंट जब भी चालू होता है सो बैकलॉग से टास्क ऐड किए जाते हैं स्प्रिंट में तो दिस इज माई बोर्ड ओके सो दिस इज द बोर्ड एंड आई नेम दिस बोर्ड एट स्प्रिंट वन सपोज Can I create a pose? Pose. Okay. Consider this backlog. Me. This backlog as your sprint one. तो स्प्रिंट वन में क्या हुआ मुझे ये टास्क असाइन किया गया नाउ व्हेन आई हैव बीन असाइन दिस टास्क स्प्रिंट प्लानिंग होगा तो जो टीम लीड रहेगा वो पहले से ये स्टोरी बना के रखेगा इपिक बना के रखेगा क्रिएशन ऑफ इपिक क्रिएशन ऑफ द स्टोरीज 
and all those things is the task of lead so technical lead hai uska kaam hai or with the help of solution architect solution architect aur ye uh, epic banayega solution architect epic mein define karega ki ye epic hai connection ke liye kya kya zaruri hai ye install hona chahiye ye environment mein hona chahiye then it this uh, connection should require this thing these are the steps that he will do टेक्निकल लीड फिर उसको स्टोरीज में कन्वर्ट करेगा ईच स्टोरी में एक्सेप्टेंस क्राइटेरिया लिखेगा कि हाँ इंस्टॉलेशन के लिए क्या क्या चाहिए ये वर्जन रहेगा सॉफ्टवेयर का ये यहाँ सर्वर पे इंस्टॉल होगा सो ऑल द डिटेल स्टेप इट विल राइट इन द स्टोरी एंड वंस द स्टोरी इज रेडी देन इट विल बी असाइन द स्टोरी पॉइंट बिकॉज आई हैव चूज द डिफॉल्ट वर्जन आई डाउट आई विल आई कैन एड द स्टोरी पॉइंट हियर जनरली यहाँ पे yes? any question so there generally yahan pe ek box rehta hai jahan pe you can add a story point which in the default i don't see but whoever set up your in the organization he will add a story point so jaise yahan pe details hai na details mein add kiya jata hai story points so for now configure let me see if i can have it for task yes okay here ओके स्टोरी पॉइंट एस्टीमेट्स सो मैं ऐड कर रहा हूँ असाइनी के नीचे स्टोरी पॉइंट्स रहेंगे सो इट विल गेट असाइन टू ऑन द टास्क टास्क के लिए मैंने ये कॉन्फिगर किया आई गो टू बैक टू द टास्क टू और जो टास्क हमने क्रिएट किया है एंड नाउ यू विल सी द स्टोरी पॉइंट एस्टिमेट्स इज अवेलेबल हियर करेक्ट सो मैं बोल रहा हूँ मुझे इंस्टॉलेशन करने में कम से कम uh, पांच स्टोरी पॉइंट चाहिए मतलब पांच दिन लगेंगे ओके दैट्स हाउ आई मे दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ स्टोरी पॉइंट एस्टिमेशन स्प्रिंट प्लानिंग में ये होता है कि किसको असाइन किया जाए और कितना टाइम लगेगा दिस टू थिंग्स आर डिफाइंड इन द स्टोरी पॉइंट और सॉरी स्प्रिंट प्लानिंग जो पहले होता है देन आई आई हैव बीन असाइन सो आई विल मेक इट इज इन अ इन प्रोग्रेस सो वो दिखेगा मुझे बोर्ड पे और यू कैन सी दैट as the time progresses i move this task to in progress now i am working on it if i am done uh, working on it i'll move to the review so someone will be a reviewer there who will review this task after the review it will be done now you can create a sub task within the story okay so let's say this is my story okay i'll again add a sub task to it no i think it's not there anyways agar aapka jira set hai kisi ne already set kar diya hai so you will already get that information so story your story can have a sub task so review ka sub task aur qa person ko rakh sakte ho ya lead ko rakh sakte ho installation mein aapko kisi ka installation mein aapko suppose different step hai download software copy software get the permission to install these are the steps अगर आपको इशू है तो कब इसको बताओगे और कब बताओगे आप Yes, on the scrum call on daily. Let's say I have started it. Okay, and then I had an issue, so I will raise it on the scrum call, saying that that I need this issue, this help needs. I need to install. If it is complete, I think that it will not be complete. If it is not complete, then I will raise it to the scrum master. Scrum master will tell me that this story will not be complete because this is a dependency. And then he will report to project manager. Project manager will report to the 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 project manager. The project manager will report to project stakeholder. He, there is an issue. We need a help. So either they will help you to proceed, or they will say, "Okay, this will take time. Take the other story in the sprint so that you can don't waste your time." 
ओके दैट्स हाउ इट वर्क्स समझ में आया तो जीरा अगेन इज इंपॉर्टेंट इन द दिस दिस एजाइल मेथोडोलॉजी द कैनबान बोर्ड एनीबॉडी नो अबाउट इज द जापानीज जापानीज टेक्निक हैव यू हर्ड आपको सब्जेक्ट था प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट यस नहीं नहीं था हो ही नहीं सकता होगा आपको वेदर यू डू बी एम सी ए बी और एनीथिंग प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट सब्जेक्ट होगा ही होगा राइट क्वालिटी कंट्रोल टेस्टिंग का एक सब्जेक्ट होगा सॉफ्टवेयर एस डी एल सी में एच आई था राइट सो दैट वॉट इज बींग यूज ऑन द प्रोजेक्ट ओके सो वंस इट इज डन दो वीक बाद क्या होता है दो वीक एट द एंड ऑफ द स्प्रिंट तो एवरी स्टोरी शुड बी क्लोज और जो स्टोरी क्लोज नहीं है उसके स्टोरी पॉइंट काउंट नहीं किए जाते दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ स्टोरी अगले स्टोरी में डायरेक्टली या सिंपली जो बैकलॉग जाएगा बैकलॉग में जो काम हमने करना है वो बैकलॉग में जाता है ओके सो दैट इज हाउ इट वर्क्स एंड दैट इज मेड इन मैनेज बाय द टीम लीड इन द मास्टर और सॉल्यूशन आर्किटेक्ट ओके सो आपको प्रोजेक्ट इंटरव्यू में पूछा जाएगा कि हाउ यू आर यू यूज्ड टू वर्क You you can say that that my program 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 was this. There were different TI program increment. One, two, three, one program increment was a three months. In one uh, program increment there were six sprint, one sprint of two weeks. Every spring there was a sprint planning. Story was assigned to me, and story point used to happen on the story on the sprint planning day, first day of the sprint. After that, it was called grooming. Do you say? Now, what is grooming? Now write down this word, otherwise you will forget. ये क्या वो चलना चाहिए 
Okay. Okay, I just wrote my objective. So, the objective of what was the use of confident Kafka? What should I do? That's what I want to see. So, 
So it has given the scenarios also. And based on those scenario, we'll write a story uh, and it will have the acceptance criteria. Chat GPT will also give the, us the acceptance criteria. If you ask, of course, you will have to overwrite it, modify it, but you don't have to write it. Okay, just copy paste. So it has given me five scenarios. Let's quickly look at this scenario. The first scenario kya bol hai? install conflict Kafka on single node. So given the server with the necessary system requirement, internet connectivity on the server, the appropriate permissions to install. This prerequisite, hai, right? Mujhe install karne ke liye kya chahiye? Server chahiye, mujhe access chahiye, and mujhe system require system jo mila hai, uske system requirement fulfill hone chahiye. Agar ye teen cheez pe hai, so when I download the software Confluent Kafka from distribution mm -hmm. package and extract that file, uh, installation flight and configure necessary properties such as server properties. Then, uske baad kya hoga? then is the acceptance criteria. Then, kya hona chahiye? the confident Kafka server should be successfully installed. Then, verify the installation by checking the server logs and errors. Right? This is the one story for which it gave me all the things. What is the prerequisite? What I have to do? And what is the acceptance criteria? Right? This is scenario. Ke liya. Second scenario configure multi node. Agar multi node karna hai, kya karna so it, it will give me different scenarios and based on that you can choose which one is more relevant to you and modify the language and then you add it into the, your story. So generally make sure every story will have this given well then format. Okay. So let's Simple example, you have to go to Okay? So given kya rahega? Given I'm able to travel. Given ticket is booked. Okay? Then I will board on the flight. On the given time. On the given date. Then I will reach to Delhi. On this day and this time. So that is your acceptance criteria. And it should not be ambiguous. Like... If the acceptance criteria says that I should able to reach Delhi, but come, right? Right? So it should be not ambiguous. So it should have some prefix. And that's why definition done and acceptance criteria come into picture. Then part is your acceptance criteria. The given is your prerequisite. Okay? When is your whatever you need to process process? Okay. Even when then submerge me, I have story me up where I live okay. Okay. And before ending the day, last thing is uh, confluence. There is a difference. Confluence and confluence is a different. Confluence Kafka. And confluence is Altaschian confluence. So it is the document management system where you write. It's a Wikipedia, but it's just like a Wikipedia document system where just have you have password, likha, ya password store, kiya. not the password, but system architecture hai, requirements. Hai. It has to be at central place, and that's where the confluence is the pages where we write something. It's a document system. Okay, it's not a super science. You can Go and check what is the confluence. Yeah. Okay, I think it will take some time, but you can just sign up for that confluence or Jira and play with that. You will understand most of the things. So project management is not more technical. So all are, all of you are technical, so you can easily understand. It's not a rocket science. So it has brainwork, dgs.altacian.net. It is hosted on there and you can see it's a wiki, right? 
So it is just like a Wikipedia where you can pay, create your pages and proceed. Just say, here I have pages. Banai. So I can add a new page. Just create. Give the page title. Let's say I want to define the requirements here. I want to store the requirement, which is shareable. Okay, this is the template I created and I say publish. Okay. And you can see that here, I have some pages requirement inside the content. You can see the requirement page is created. Under the requirement page, you can create a sub content inside it. And it's a document management system basically where you can put your, it will have versions, you can approval and other thing, comments and everything can be added. Okay. And I created again one more page. Okay. Under the requirement, page two is created. Okay. So we'll stop here. Let me know if you have any other questions. Now we are going to meet on 29th again on same time around 11.30. I'll communicate the time during that. Okay. Offline. Everybody should present uh, in that session. There, that will be the last session. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Again, we are meeting on twenty nine.